The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, welcomes you to the Alternatives Public Information Meeting for the State Road 524 Project Development and Environment Study in Brevard County, Florida. Financial Project ID Number 437983-1 We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 18, 2021, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. A recording of this presentation will be posted on the project's webpage within one week following the meeting. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Responses will be provided via email after the meeting. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash 437-983-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to lorena dot cuceck at dot state dot fl dot us. You may mail written comments and questions to project manager Lorena Kusek, FDOT, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5392 to provide verbal comments following the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5, Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website in the Florida Today newspaper and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, and elected and appointed officials and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. The Environmental Review, Consultation, 
and other actions required by applicable federal environmental laws for this project are being or have been carried out by the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, pursuant to Title 23, U.S.C. Section 327, and a Memorandum of Understanding dated December 14, 2016, and executed by the Federal Highway Administration and FDOT. FDOT is currently evaluating alternatives to widen State Road 524 from the current two-lane rural roadway to a four-lane divided roadway from Friday Road south to Industry Road in the city of Coco, Brevard County. A Project Development and Environment Study, or PDNE, is an environmental and engineering process used to document social, economic, and environmental impacts associated with the proposed transportation improvement project. A PDND study has three main components, an engineering analysis, which includes the identification and analysis of potential design solutions, including a no-build alternative, environmental evaluations which evaluate potential impacts to the social, cultural, and physical environments, and a public involvement component to inform and involve all interested parties in the development of the planned transportation project and to seek public input. This process is mandated by the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, and the Florida law. It represents a combined effort by technical professionals who analyze information and document the best alternative for a community's transportation needs. The project development process consists of five steps, including long-range planning to identify the project need, PD&D study, project design, right-of-way acquisition, and construction. The pd and study is in the second phase of the project development process where an engineering and environmentally feasible alternative that meets the community's transportation need is determined. The location and conceptual design of improvements are identified and environmental and social impacts are assessed. The purpose of the project is to sustain projected future growth while preserving the character of existing communities and environment, improve regional mobility and traffic safety, increase roadway capacity, and enhance emergency evacuation. The new interchange also supports the Space Coast Transportation Planning Organization, or TPO, Long Range Transportation Plan. Based on the existing traffic volumes and traffic projections, the future traffic volumes will increase along State Road 524, exceeding the two-lane roadway capacity by 8,000 vehicles per day by the year 2040. Three typical section alternatives are being considered, all of which utilize the existing 200-foot right-of-way and consist of a four-lane divided roadway with two travel lanes in each direction, separated by a center grass median. Seven-foot buffered bike lanes would also extend along both sides of the roadway, and sidewalks would be provided, an eight-foot sidewalk on the north side of the roadway, and a six-foot sidewalk on the south side. All of the typical sections on the following slides are also provided on individual project segment boards on the project website. Typical Section 1 is a rural typical section consisting of two 12-foot travel lanes in each direction, divided by a 40-foot median. Drainage swells are provided along the outside of the roadway, between the roadway edge and the sidewalk. The rural typical section would have a posted speed limit of 55 miles per hour and proposes to use the existing State Road 524 pavement as the westbound travel lanes and will require additional right-of-way for water detention ponds. Typical Section 2 is a suburban typical section, would have a posted speed limit of 50 miles per hour and consists of two 12-foot travel lanes in each direction 
with four-foot inside shoulders divided by a 22-foot median. In this typical section, the roadside ditches are behind the sidewalk, which allows the sidewalks to be closer to the roadway edge. The urban typical section would have a posted speed limit of 45 miles per hour and consists of two 11-foot travel lanes in each direction divided by a 22-foot median. Inside shoulders are not provided in the urban typical section and the sidewalks are adjacent to the roadway edge. The overall study corridor has been divided into four segments. Segment 1 consists of the Interstate 95 interchange from South Friday Road to North Friday Road. Segment 2 extends from North Friday Road to Cox Road. Segment 3 extends from Cox Road to London Boulevard. Segment 4 extends from London Boulevard to Industry Road. While preparing the roadway alternatives, the proposed median opening type and locations were based on the FDOT median spacing guidelines, intersecting roadways, traffic volumes, and surrounding land uses. The following slides will provide details on each of these segments. Two alternatives are being considered for Segment 1, both with urban typical sections. Alternative 1A is a modified diamond interchange which maintains the current interchange configuration but includes the widening of State Road 524. Alternative 1B is a diverging diamond interchange or DDI similar to the Vieira Boulevard interchange in Brevard County. Unlike a conventional interchange, the lanes in a DDI cross over to the left side of the roadway. This limits the number of traffic signal phases, meaning motorists spend less time at signals and can make a left turn without crossing in front of oncoming traffic. The lanes then change back to the right side of the road. While a conventional interchange has 10 conflict points or places where vehicle paths separate, cross, or join, a DDI reduces those conflict points to only two. This will enhance safety at the intersection for drivers and pedestrians. All three alternative typical sections, urban, suburban, and rural, are being considered for Segment 2 from North Friday Road to Cox Road. Optional pond locations are shown on the north side of State Road 524, near Friday Road in all three alternatives. The rural typical section may require additional right-of-way for detention ponds near the intersection of Cox Road and potential roadway right-of-way needs north of Friday Road and from south of the Walmart driveway to Cox Road. The urban and suburban typical section alternatives are being considered for Segment 3 from Cox Road to London Boulevard. One potential pond location is shown on the south side of State Road 524 at Westminster Drive. The urban and suburban typical section alternatives are also being considered for Segment 4 from London Boulevard to Industry Road. An urban typical section is consistent with the proposed future typical section on State Road 501, Clear Lake Road, east of Industry Road. We are evaluating several improvement alternatives for the intersections of Cox Road, London Boulevard, and Industry Road. Intersection concepts include signalization, roundabout, and other alternatives. Additional information regarding the various intersection concepts being considered are provided on the project website. Three drainage basins have been identified for the corridor. Basin 1 includes portions of segments 1 and 2. Basin 2 includes portions of segments 2 and 3 and Basin 3 includes Segment 4. Detention ponds are needed to accommodate and treat additional stormwater runoff. Several pond locations are being considered for each roadway segment. However, only one pond will be selected for each drainage basin. 
A regional pond is also being evaluated within the Basin 3 limits. Environmental features are also being evaluated to determine if the roadway widening results in significant impacts to the natural, social, cultural, or physical environments. These design concepts, along with the no-build alternative, were evaluated, and a summary of the evaluation is shown in the evaluation matrix. All alternatives for each segment are proposed to accommodate future traffic demands and improve corridor level of service, corridor safety, pedestrian safety, and emergency evacuation. The rural typical section within Segment 2 is expected to have low business and residential impacts. All other alternatives being considered have no roadway right-of-way impacts. All of the alternatives within all segments are expected to have no impacts on archaeological sites, historical resources, or contaminated sites. Segment 2 is expected to have wetland impacts for all three alternatives. No wetland impacts are expected within the other alternatives. Drainage impacts are expected with all of the alternatives. No contamination sites are expected to be impacted with any of the alternatives. Floodplain impacts have not been determined at this time. The potential for impacts to protected species is low for all segments. An evaluation matrix for each segment is provided on individual boards on the project website. We began this pd and study in December of 2018, and we expect it to be completed in the summer of 2022. The public hearing is scheduled to be held the fall of 2022, and we expect to receive federal approval by fall of 2022. The design phase, right-of-way acquisition, and construction efforts are unfunded. To follow the status of the project, please visit the project page on the FDOT Central Florida website, www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 437983-1 in the search box at the top right corner of the page, then click on Go. The recording of this presentation and all materials shown here tonight are currently available on the website. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All project comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 18, 2021, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Responses will be provided via email after the meeting. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash 437-983-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to lorena.cuceck at dot.state.com dot fl dot us. You may mail written comments and questions to Project Manager Lorena Kusek, FDOT, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5392 to provide verbal comments following the public meeting. 
The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 18, 2021. Contact information, a recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com. Please remember to type the project number 437-983-1 into the search box, then click Go. Have a good evening.